Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to today's 15 minute morning energizing yoga flow. This is a beautiful sequence to help you wake up and to help you strengthen the mind and body. So when you're ready, join me on the mat. You might like to sit in diamond pose, perhaps placing one palm on the belly, the other on the heart space, closing the eyes, and gifting yourself a moment to notice what's going on. Notice how you are feeling. And allowing yourself to accept where you are, knowing that you are exactly where you need to be. On your next inhalation, raising the arms skywards, joining the palms together. Exhale, twist to the left, lowering the arms down, placing the outer edge of the right hand against your left thigh, maybe guiding your left palm behind your back, waking up the spinal column, softening the shoulders, reaching the crown of the head skywards. Inhale. Raise the arms skywards and let's take this spinal twist on the other side. Doing your best to keep your weight evenly distributed across both legs. Allowing yourself to soften. On your next inhalation, raising the arms skywards, joining the palms together. Exhale, lower the arms down, well done. And let's come up into a tabletop position on all fours. For this variation, we're going to turn our fingertips towards the edge of the mat, wrists facing towards one another. And let's begin to circle the hips towards the heels and guide the shoulders over the wrists making these movements as small or as large as you would like. This is a beautiful way to release any tension from the outer hips, the outer glutes, engaging the abdomen, and mindfully returning to a tabletop position, this time fingertips facing forwards, wrists under the shoulders, and let's come into a traditional cat-cow. Inhale, scoop the chest forwards, open the heart space, gaze up. Exhale, curl and round, press into the palms, chin to chest. And again, inhale, cow pose, spinal extension. Exhale, cat pose, spinal flexion. A few more times. Allowing yourself to melt away all unwanted energy. Channeling your inner equilibrium, your inner joy. One more round, taking your time. And let's return to tabletop position. From here, joining the big toes together, sinking the hips towards the heels, child's pose. Extending the arms out in front and widening the knees as much as you would like to give way for your belly, the rib cage. Know that you always have the option to return to this posture if ever you would like a moment of rest and relaxation a moment to return inwards, feel that connection, that establishment of grounding. And from here we'll come into a gentle sun salutation, a modified variation. On your next inhalation, rise up into a half plank, 
So shoulders are aligned with the wrists, knees are on the ground, core is engaged. Exhale, lower the chest down, eight limbs staff pose, lowering the pelvis and the hips down last. Pressing up into cobra, opening the heart space, gaze up. Tuck the toes under, ground down through the feet, exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog, legs are extended, gaze is between the feet, elongating the back of the neck. One breath here. Return the knees to the earth, point the toes, child's pose. We'll flow through this with a little bit more fluidity. Inhale. Plank pose. Exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, Cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. One breath here. Lower the knees down. Point the toes, sink the hips back, child's pose, balasana. Let's go again. Inhale, supported plank. Exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Eggs, how Adho Mukha Svanasana, keeping the core engaged, maintaining awareness of the entire body. Lowering the knees to the earth, point the toes, Balasana. And again, inhale, half plank. Eggs, how lower down. Inhale, press up, strengthening the back body. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Feel the force of your shoulders here. Lower the knees down, child's pose. Once more. Inhale, half plank. Exhale, eight limb staff pose. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, opening up the back of the legs, feeling the lengthening of the hamstrings. And from here, keeping the arms extended, let's roll through into a high plank, Falakasana. Engaging the core, really turning on the quadriceps here to support us, staying high on the balls of the feet. Finding length through the heels of the feet and the crown of the head. And let's come into a side plank, placing the right palm under the face, pivoting to the left, raising the left arm skywards. You might like to stack your left foot on top of your right foot. And you might like to join us in a tree pose variation. So with the support of your left palm, guiding your left foot to the inner seam of your right thigh. Raising the pelvis, feeling the strength of your body here. Breathe. Smile. Mindfully release your foot. Lower the left palm down under the left shoulder. Return to a traditional plank. One breath here. Find your foundation. And let's go on the other side. Left palm under the face. Pivot the body to the right. Raise the right arm skywards. Side plank. Vashisthasana. Either keeping both feet grounded or joining us in a tree pose variation. If possible, finding the same variation that you took on the other side so that we can really cultivate a semblance of balance within the body. Breathe. Well done. Return to plank pose. One breath here. Lowering down into four-limbed staff pose. The upper arms are grazing the torso. Lifting up into upward facing dog. Hips are elevated. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Breathe. Notice the duration of each inhalation and exhalation. Allow the breath to anchor you in the here and now. Mindfully lower the knees to the earth, point the toes, hips to the heels, child's pose. Let it all go. Gifting yourself one more mindful breath in child's pose. Pressing into the palms, transitioning through tabletop, and let's come up into downward facing dog. Grounding down through the left foot, inhale, raise the right leg skywards, three legged dog. Flex the knee and guide the right heel to the glutes. Begin to create circular movements with the right knee and the right hip. Lubricating the ball and socket. Doing your best to keep your tripod foundation stable. You might like to rotate the direction of your circles. Well done, re-extend the right leg, three-legged dog. Mindfully lower the right leg down and let's go on the other side. Inhale, raise the left leg. Feel the strength of your body here. Bend the knee and let's create some circles. If you notice any sensitivity in your wrists, press a little bit more firmly into your index finger and thumb to support you here. Re-extend the left leg skywards, point the toes, exhale, lower down, beautiful work, downward facing dog. Is it possible to find a deeper expression of this pose? All the while respecting your possibilities for today. Listen to your body. Inhale, raise the right leg, three-legged dog and mindfully guide the right foot between the palms. Let's pivot the body to the left and lower down into Skandhasana, low side lunge, joining the palms together at heart center. You might like to circle the hands and the wrists to release any tension. We've got the right knee bent and the left leg extended. If you'd like to take this a little further, extending the arms out on a diagonal, and maybe joining the palms together behind your back as we come into a bind. Feeling the broadening across the collarbones, the chest, gazing skywards. Release the bind, join the palms together at heart center, keep the hips low and let's transition into Skandhasana on the other side. Shifting your weight to the left, we've got the left knee bent, the right leg is extended, grounding down through the right heel. Either keeping the palms together at heart center, lowering them down onto the earth, or if you'd like, coming into a bind. We want to channel energy upwards through the crown of the head, so we're not hammocking into the pelvis, we're maintaining activation feeling a beautiful opening for the hips. If this posture proves a little challenging, know that you could always rest your pelvis, your glutes on a block, on a bolster or a pillow. Know that you can modify this practice. Make it your own. And from here, let's lower our palms to the earth and come up into a wide-legged forward fold. For this variation, turn the heels out, toes in. If you are presently living in a tighter body, it might be helpful to widen your legs a little more. This is going to help you hinge the torso forwards. And if you've got a little bit more mobility, you might like to bring your feet closer to one another to help you intensify the forward fold. If possible, keeping the pelvis stable, 
legs are straight. And let's guide our head and our hands around over to our right ankle, feeling a beautiful stretch for the back body and the side waist. Rolling back through center and let's take this twist on the other side. This is such a nice stretch for anyone who is a friend of a chair or spends a large portion of the day in sedentary activity. Come back to this exercise as often as you like. Mindfully release the left ankle. Place the palms on the earth under the shoulders. Heel toe the feet together slightly. This time heels in, toes out as we come into Malasana, lowering the hips down, joining the palms together. Pressing the triceps into the inner thighs, lengthening the spinal column. Breathe. Lowering the fingers down onto the earth and mindfully placing your sits bones down. Well done. Coming into a comfortable seated position of your choice. Closing the eyes. Thanking yourself for showing up here today and cultivating the space to nourish your well being. Recognize the power that you have cultivated and the strength that is always here with you. Gift yourself one more mindful breath to round off this practice. On your exhalation, let it all go. Mindfully join the palms together at heart center. Thank you so much for joining this practice. May you experience true peace and joy. Namaste.